moving forward with the session, okay? Perfect. Now listen to me very carefully. So without wasting the time, I am starting with the session. So the session will be in the very simple, in very simple English language. And those students who are writing, the session is relevant for all those students who are writing their CA inter exams in May 24 or in November 2024 under new syllabus. Okay. So first request is that please don't write anything on screen. Okay, don't scribble on screen and please just be sincere. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm starting the session again. So please listen to me very carefully. Okay. So, hey everyone, this is Shilpi Jain and today's session is all about the subject and the subject name is what? Strategic Management. In your CA Intermediate, you guys have one paper for 100 marks and in that 100 mark paper, you will have to study two subjects, right? Financial Management and Strategic Management. Firstly, let me tell you one thing that this session is going to relevant like this session. This session is relevant for all those students who are writing their exam in May 24, either in May 24 or in November 2024. Okay. And obviously now new syllabus is there, right? So that means in new syllabus in your group 2 C enter, you guys have one subject and the subject name is what? SM. FM. FM is also there. SM is also there. FM is what? Financial management. And SM is what? Strategic management. But listen to me very carefully. Here, for 50 marks, you'll have to study strategic management portion. For 50 marks, you'll have to study financial management portion. Right? This, I... I hope that this you uh, know, like about this, you all have the knowledge, right? Now, listen to me very carefully. Firstly, I'll, uh, I'll be addressing all the chats, but please, for the time being, just listen to me very carefully. Don't question, just I'll be giving you time for the doubt session, okay? You will be uh, getting all the clarity, all the questions will be answered shortly. But before that, let me give the clarity about this subject. So in SMFM, 50 marks SM, 50 marks FM. If you want to clear your group 2, what happens in group 2? Many students fail in a group 2 because of the theory portion. Why? Because you all are writing the exam of the ICAI, right? And you are writing the exam of the ICAI. That means you will have to think from the point of, point of view of the ICAI, right? But many students make mistake here because most of the time, many students will be depending, like they will depend on the either subject. They will be skipping the maximum portion of this theory subject. Why? Because they think that theory is a very tough topic to deal with, but it's not at all. If you want to secure an exemption in this SMFM paper, you will have to think properly. And obviously, you will have to uh, follow the rankers approach. Okay. So that means if you want to secure an exemption in your SMFM paper, you will have to think properly. You listen, just because uh, like, like uh, with the heart, like uh, with bulk study in bulk, you can't clear your exam, right? That means so uh, if you want to crack your exam, only study is not at all important. So what is more important than study? The more important thing than the study is what? Your management, like managing the subject smartly and strategically. Is that clear everyone? Now, one more thing I'll tell you what happens whenever institute wants to make this subject tough, right? Tricky. Then definitely institute can play with students in this portion. Why? Because in SM, everything, everything is very sorted. 
whatever is given in your study material beyond that institute won't ask because it's a theory and whatever is given in the theory only that will be asked in the exam hall but if institute wants to make this portion tough as no you won't be expecting like this portion can like uh, here you can like honestly speaking this portion institute can make it very tough is why because this is a, it's a financial management portion right and in fm institute can play very well but in theory here institute won't be able to play why because yes institute will give the twisters in the question but ultimately you will have to understand the requirement part and the answer will be very on to point okay that means if you want to secure exemption in this particular paper which is sm fm which portion is very easiest to cover its strategic management why because in sm portion only five chapters you will have to study can you imagine listen no one will tell you that if you want to crack your exam you'll have to think properly you'll have to uh, plan your study properly you'll have to think strategically to plan your stat, uh, studies right so here SM, only five chapters you'll have to study for uh, 50 marks. But if you will see the FM module, you'll just get blank. I'll show you the institute module, okay? Uh, can you please tell me what is uh, visible on screen, everyone? Can you see this uh, BOS portal? Here, paper six, is that visible on yeah. screen, everyone? Quickly tell me. Right. So here, if you check this module, section is A is for financial management. Section B is for strategic management. Now come to section um, uh, section B. Here you can see in section B, only five chapters are there. And trust me, guys, without hampering your other subjects on weekend, we'll be finishing all these five chapters very easily without any load and with the memory techniques. Because in theory, concepts are not at all important not at all important in theory all you have to know that how to retain the theory till your exam day that's it and also there is no practical application of this particular portion this portion is just a jackpot for all of you why because if you are giving your efforts we are not expecting that you should give your efforts. Why? Because if you will check your study material, I'll show you this introduction chapter I'm opening. Okay. The exam weight of this particular chapter is 10 marks. If you see it here, each and every single chapter of SM is given for maybe in uh, one minute. Maybe in 40 pages or 46, like 40, 46, like this, all the chapters are covered in like this. Okay. But we have already prepared the simplified notes of the strategic management portion and you need not to use your brain further. Why? Because in weekend itself, all you have to do is what? Just you'll have to listen to the live lecture. That's it. So are you guys ready to rock in a, a, a SMFM paper? Everyone in the class? 100 students are there in the class. I cannot take all, all the students name individually. And trust me, if individually I want to guide you, separately we'll have to create a batch. Okay? Batch means what? Where individually I can talk to each and every single student so that all, each and every single student could secure exemption in this particular paper. Is that clear everyone? This batch is a detailed come fast track batch. Even if you are studying strategic management for the very first time, you will be comfortable. Even if you have already studied the strategic management, this batch is for you also. So don't be bothered about this batch motive is just to help you out with the exemption in SMFM paper. Is that clear everyone? Yes or no? Quickly tell me. Manisha, Agam, all A's in the class. All A's in the class. Agam, Ashi, Abdullah, Abhinandan, Adarsh, Anjali, Apurva, Apurva, Arjuna, Atharva. All A's in the class. Can you please reply? 
so that I could get connected with each and every single student very clearly. All C's in the class, only one C is there. Chandra, Chandra Khan, can you hear me? I'm not able to listen your voice. What is the problem? Can you please unmute and talk to me? Is there any problem? Are you guys facing any difficulty in unmuting yourself? Anyone? No, it, there is no problem. Then why aren't you all? Whenever I want to talk, please talk to me. Otherwise, it's just like that I'm just talking. You are just, you're not replying. So it won't work, right? Now, all D's in the class, all the students in the class, are you guys ready to rock in this particular paper? Now listen to me very carefully. Strategic management paper is all about what? Is all about mugging up the theory portion, mugging up the keyword, mugging up everything. And trust me, if, listen, in SM, to, for 50 marks, you'll have to study only five chapters. That is to for sure, all the questions will be there in the exam, whatever will be covered in uh, the tax of notes, okay? Second thing, if I come to the uh, financial management portion, you can see it here. It's very lengthy, yaar. Like nine, nine chapters are there. And in nine chapters also, so many units are also there. So this syllabus is very huge. So where like uh, strategically, you must focus on the theory portion first. Are you getting my point, everyone? Yes or no? Can you please talk? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so strategically, yes, ma what should be your approach? What should be your approach to clear and to secure exemption in this particular paper? You will have to work smartly. So many students study a lot, right? In a day, 18 hours in a day, 12 hours in a day, a lot. They study a lot. But what if in the exam hall, they feel blank? Will that work? No, it won't work, right? That means if you will be in uh, this uh, SM weekend session with the C. Ayushal sir, you will be getting each and every single thing. You will be getting all the clarity and he will be guiding you a lot. And trust me, you will be able to secure well in your particular paper in this SM FM paper. And also you'll be getting the clarity about the preparation. You'll be getting to like, you'll be understanding the strategy to tackle all your other papers also, right? So the uh, important thing is what? Let me discuss about this session first, okay? So the session will be what? SM weekend batch only on Saturday, Sunday. Just you'll have, you need not to write anything. Everything you will be getting, like notes also readily available for you. You need not to waste your time in making the notes. Where you'll be putting your efforts? In practicing the writing, uh, in practicing. What practice? In answer writing practice, you'll have to do and we'll do it in class itself. That means all your SM responsibility will be on to us for 50 marks. Okay, is that clear for all everyone? Yes or no? Are you guys there in the class? Can I expect a reply from all of you? At least. Okay. Yeah. Right? So, that means 50 marks just by listening. Saturday, Sunday, only Saturday, Sunday, you'll have to come on the live session. You'll have to just listen to us. And once the session, once one chapter is done and dusted, only five chapters are there, yaar. Like one, two, three, four, five. One chapter is done and dusted. We'll practice what could be the possible question that can be asked from the, uh, from this particular chapter in the exam. Every, each and every single, like this chapter will cover in all respect. Also, then uh, test series will be there for this particular chapter. Also, quizzes will be there because for 15 marks, you'll have to, what? Uh, learn MCQs also, right? Because in, in your exam, 30% is what 30% MCQs comes, right? Yes or no, everyone? Like for 100 marks, you have the paper. 50 marks FM, 50 marks SM. So here 30% 30, 30 in all MCQs will be there. So all, everything will be practicing in class itself so that 
in like uh, by attending saturday sunday only you guys are preparing for 50 marks and trust me this won't be hampering your other subjects easily you can finish it with us is that clear everyone now next question do you have any query firstly let me give the clarity about the session the approach of tech sub is what rankers approach how rankers approach because here you guys will be getting to know everything from the point of view of the rankers they like uh, with rankers approach you'll be getting the clarity and you'll be understanding that that how you should proceed further with your preparation is that clear everyone yes or no second thing the session will be in simple english language and all other non-south students if you're not comfortable in simple english then we can schedule a separate batch in hindi english mix but try to join in this simple english language why because ultimately though you will have to write the exam write the answer in exam in english no then why not from today itself you just start building the like you start building the habit of learning things in english in simple english so that in exam hall itself like you can write the answer very well understanding my point everyone yes or no and simple English is okay. Like session will be in simple English. But if somewhere non-South students are facing any difficulty in understanding any concept, then definitely that concept again and again for non-South student will be repeated in Hindi also. So don't be bothered about that. Is that clear? Yes or no, everyone? Can you please talk to me? Yes, ma'am. Drishti, Dona, Divyanshi, all these in the class. Divyashri, can you hear me? Aram, Ivanpreet, Pisa, Ambika, Garima, all G's in the class. Garima, Gayatri, Gauri, Gunika, everyone. Can you please stop and reply? Be active in the session, okay? We just need an active participation from all of you. Why? Because here you just need to listen to this uh, live session. You need not to use your brain for the nothing. You need not to do anything. Everything we have already sorted for you. That's the reason we came forward with this weekend batch. You won't be getting this weekend batch anywhere. No. But, but this is also a very good idea that we uh, brought forward so we are just making it sure that you guys uh, prepare very well in this uh, chapter in this subject okay perfect now listen if you are not able to unmute yourself you can be active through the chat you just show your presence in the class so that individually I can understand that you are active in the session. Is that clear? And sincerely, many students in the session will be like many of you might be possible that many of uh, many students uh, in the session are writing the exam for the maybe for the second time. But please try that the upcoming attempt is your last attempt. Right? Why? Because unnecessarily, if you are start giving attempt, attempt, attempt again and again, it just it will just waste your time. It's better to go strategically with rankers approach, make a proper schedule, make a proper plan and go for it. Just come in the CA final level quickly as soon as possible. Is that clear everyone? Yes or no? All H in the class. Quickly tell me. Hari Prasad, Hari Shri, Himanshi, Insia, and all Jays in the class. Jasmine, Jayalakshmi, Jayesh, Jonakruti, Jyotika, Juliet. Oh, wow, nice name. Juliet and Jwala. Tisha, Kamalji, Karthik, and Kavya. Lakshmi, all L, L in the class. Lakshmi, Lavanya, Lakshman. Everyone, quickly tell me. Can you please? Reply so that I could get that yes, you are listening to me very carefully. Vishwa, Vidyashri, Varun, Tharun, Varun, Tharun, Tanya, and Swetha. Swati Lakshmi, Sujal, Sudhanshu, Subhiksha, Subhashri, Sriya Lakshmi. Everyone, quickly tell me. 
Sona, Shruti and Shruti too, Shivani, all S in the class, all R's in the class, all P's in the class, all N's in the class, all M's in the class. Shall we proceed with the session now? Now let, let's understand one more thing, okay? What did I say? I said that in strategic management, all you have to understand is what? For example, tomorrow, for example, just understand, for example, tomorrow you have exam for strategic management portion, like you have FM, SM, last year, sixth paper is tomorrow. Okay, you are sitting where in the exam hall tomorrow, you will be sitting there in the exam hall tomorrow. Now, if you see the question paper of the strategic management, so you should feel that you know each and every single answer. Right? This is how you will have to prepare yourself. And in SM, nothing is important. Only thing is important what you just need to retain the theory properly with the help of the keywords, with the help of the memory techniques and with the help of the proper guidance and with the uh, help of the proper test and with the help of the proper writing practice. Only these can help you to secure exemption and these will be helping you to feel very like relaxed in the exam hall. So please be prepared. No, you are writing the exam of the ICI. You know what is the passing percentage if like on an average if I consider 10%. If for example passing percentage is 10%, that means 90% students are getting failed. Yes or no everyone quickly tell me. So it's on to you whether you want to follow the approach. Which approach? The approach that students who have already passed or who are already planning for a rank. Like you must, you will have to follow this approach. You will have to say bye bye to yours. Jaisa chal rahe, waisa chal le do attitude. Otherwise, you will have to again face us a next attempt so this whatever i'm telling you know the same strategy you will have to follow the same smart strategy you'll have to follow for the other subjects also is that clear everyone are you getting my point so please try that you are not covering under this portion and you will be there in the in this 10 percent category is that clear for all now let's come to the session now your session, I said no, that in strategic management, what is important, I have already said. Only five chapters are there, 50 marks sorted on weekends. That's it. Key uh, words you'll have to remember and you are going to study this strategic management subject with the mind-blowing teacher, which is uh, who is chartered accountant and CAIU Shell sir and he'll be guiding you throughout the session. Is that clear everyone? So shall we proceed with chapter number one? And today's target is to start with chapter number one, strategic management intro. And we'll try finishing this 10 marks ka portion. Will that be okay for all if we uh, start it from today itself? Or you want us to start it from tomorrow? You guys tell accordingly, we'll be planning the session. Quickly tell me. You guys tell. Shall we proceed? Uh, 10 marks, yeah. One day, 10 marks. Not a big, not a big task, right? Ha, possible if you're maybe in the in between, if you're saying, ma'am, please, five marks today, five, five marks tomorrow. That's okay. But at least start with the chapter number one, strategic management introduction. So without wasting the time, I am inviting CIU Jan sir, and he will be teaching you this particular subject, a like uh, subject and starting with chapter number one. Okay. Just take a two minute short break, refresh your brain, quickly refresh your brain. In five minutes, just coming back with the session. Okay? Is that clear, everyone? Yes, don't worry. Today itself, I am starting. Like we are starting it from today itself. We won't be wasting time. Okay? So just take a short break of 5 to 10 minutes, refresh your brain, forget everything, whatever the garbage you have accumulated in your mind and just keep your brain calm and then we'll start with the chapter, okay?
Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Great, great. So, shall we start? Okay, great, great, great. So, first of all, by the way of introduction, I am Ayush Jain and uh, I am Chartered Accountant by profession and I have cleared my CA, inter uh, CA final examination on May 22. That is just two years before your examination. And I am your faculty for strategic management. I have recently joined Tech Sub with your favorite Shilpi ma'am. So let's start. So let's start the discussion. First of all, let's recap what ma'am has told to you. So strategic management is going to be 50 marks paper and financial man management is going to be a 50 marks paper. Okay. So this is your 100 marks paper. And we will start with strategic management that is 50 marks exam. As ma'am has already told you guys that why you have to focus more on strategic management. And the answer is if ICI decides to give the uh, paper tough, if ICI decide that this time paper number six is going to be tough, so ICI will do changes in financial management portion. Financial management portion consists of nine chapters and as you all know, this is practical part. So anyone can easily make practical part very tough by uh, introducing many changes. Like they will give you new tech, new rates and new future values, present value. So this part is going to be tough for you. But strategic management is always easy for you. What ICI can do is just ask tough question and that that the question will be from your study material itself. So. I, I have prepared notes for you. I have prepared notes for you guys and 100% of the chapter is, in, is covered in 8 to 10 pages. Just 8 to 10 pages. So we will study our discussion now. So are you ready for uh, the discussion? Please comment me in the comment box. Great, great. If I'll go fast, you can just ask me to go slow in comment box. Uh, I'll see and check. Okay. So let us start. So guys, do you know why strategic management is difficult for you? I mean, it seems very easy when you study by yourself, but why it becomes difficult as ma'am already mentioned that reading the chapter is very easy, but to retain it is very difficult. How you will retain and uh, the thing you will retain that only you will write in exam. So what I will do, my first focus is that I will make you learn everything in class. Just do one favor for me and that favor is you have to study in your room, lock your room and avoid all the disturbances. Just focus on what I am teaching. I have made notes for you. These notes will be available to you. You just have to listen to me very carefully. And I, I guarantee you that I will make you learn each and every question. So this is my notes. I have prepared notes for you guys. I have uh, marked all the questions. Just a second. Okay. So I have marked all the questions here that past year paper, how I say ask you the questions I have marked everywhere. First of all, we will start with our discussion. Okay. So before starting the topic, I would like to ask you what is strategic management? We will break this subject into two parts that strategic management, why this is strategic management and what is the meaning of strategic management? So strategic management consists of two words that is strategic and the second is management. So first of all, we will discuss what is a strategy? What is a strategy? I'll tell you and I will tell you in such a way that it will be retained to tell your exam date. So suppose you are here in CA intermediate. Okay. And you have set one goal. What goal you have set? You have said that you want to become a chartered accountant. You want to become a chartered accountant. Today you are CA, today you are in CA intermediate. 
So what you will do? You guys have set up some goal, right? You guys have set up some goal. And what is that goal? That you want to become a chartered accountant. So how you will become a chartered accountant? So a strategy will help you to become chartered accountant. That means a strategy is a strategy is the things which become means to achieve that goal. What all strategy you will prepare? You will start studying for your C intermediate examination. You will buy lectures. And what else you will do? You will uh, buy lectures and you will start preparing your own notes. So th this is all the strategy. So today you are in center, uh, CA intermediate and you want your goal is to become a CA. So you will apply some strategy. So we can say that strategy is a means to achieve that goal. Strategy is a ladder. Strategy is a means to achieve that goal. Okay. Or in second word, we can also say that strategy is a plan. Can't we say it is a plan? Yes, we can say it. So a strategy is a plan. And what plan? It is pl such a plan that is assured that basic objective is achieved or basic goal is achieved. So two things we have studied till now. What is a strategy? Strategy is a means to achieve that goal. Okay. And second thing, a strategy is an integrated plan and such plan which assures that basic objective is achieved. Now we'll read from our notes and I hope you will be able to recall. As per William F. Clue, a strategy is a unified, comprehensive and integrated plan. Take a, what type of plan? Such plan which is designed to assure that basic objective is achieved. Are you guys clear? So I'll ask non-South students. So are you guys clear? Aapko samaj aa hai kya? Or I should uh, go more slower. I hope you guys aap log ko bata sakte ho, comment box mein non-South non -south students. Aa hai na? So what we have studied, two things we have studied. A strategy is a unified, comprehensive and integrated plan. Theek hai? Designed to assure that basic objectives are achieved. Second thing, a strategy seeks to relate the goals a strategy seeks to relate the goals of the organization to the means of achieving them. Okay. Just a minute. Great. So two things we have that, that what is strategy? Now we'll go on. What are the features and importance of strategy? First thing we have seen. Okay. What are the features and importance of the strategy? Okay. Great. So coming back to again, coming back to the example, what our example says, you are in C intermediate. You have set a goal to become a chartered accountant. Okay. So what strategy you will prepare? You will prepare a strategy that in five years down the line, what I will do five years down the line, I will complete my article shape. Okay. I will complete my CA final studies. This all things you will do. Okay. Then second thing, what you will do? Second thing you will do that you will identify your sort. Have you guys heard about sort as You will identify your sort that is strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Once you decide your sort, then accordingly you will change your and plan your strategy. Like for example, I'm again coming to your example. You decide that I want to pass in FMSM exam with exemption. Okay. So one of the strengths you have seen that my strength is a strategic management. Okay. My weakness is financial management because I don't like practical subject. Okay. And you have find some opportunity that 10 days fast track course of strategic management is available. So you have joined that course. So you have identified all sort analysis and accordingly you have planned your strategy. Okay. Two things I have seen. First of all, you have planned, make a five year plan. Second, you have done sort analysis and then you have decided your strategy. Okay. Just a second. Now, third thing. Third thing is, see, you have decided your strategy. Okay. Today you are in CA intermediate and you have decided to clear your CA finals. Now, can you sit idle? 
यू हैव प्रिपेयर योर बेस्ट स्ट्रेटेजी ठीक है यू हैव एक्यूमुलेटेड यू हैव डन ऑल योर शॉर्ट एनालिसिस यू हैव ऑल्सो प्लान दैट आई विल कवर एवरीथिंग इन फाइव इयर्स ठीक है नाउ कैन यू सेट आइडियल नो यू हैव टू बी Participately, you should participate. And here, your management. So, what do you have to do? You have to study. You have to study. So, th third point says that strategy is not a substitute for sound management. That is, once you have made the strategy, you cannot sit idle. You have to work upon that strategy. Okay. Fourth thing, you have to make some allowances in strategy. Allowances means though you have decided that in five years I will finish everything. I will finish everything. But do you know about future? No, na. Anything can happen. Anything happen. What it can happen? Like you have to attend some marriages. Your health go goes down. So you have to make possible uh, allowances for unexpected events. So these are the features and importance of strategy. Now I will teach you from my notes. And these notes are from strategic management. What all features we have seen? This is the long range blueprint of the organization. How long range? As we have seen that we are preparing full strategy for five years. So five years is a very long term. Okay. Just remember your example that you are in CA intermediate and you have to clear your CA final. What all strategy you have prepared? So you have done long range, long range blueprint of the organization. Okay. Then you have identified your sort that is strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. And then accordingly you have made the plans to achieve that goal. Okay. Once you have made done the sort analysis, when you have prepared the long range blueprint, you cannot sit idle. You have to work upon that uh, strategy. So next point says that strategy is not a substitute for sound, alert, and responsible management. In our example, who is the management? You guys only are the management. Okay. If we take example of company, who all are the management? Management means CEO, CFOs. But in, in our example, you guys only are the management. So next point is that strategy is not a substitute for sound alert and responsible management. That means you guys have to, you guys have to study properly. You guys have to study properly and work upon that strategy. This is the third feature. Fourth feature that strategy can never be perfect. Strategy can never be perfect. As we have already see, already seen that you have to make possible. Uh, allowances for unanticipated events it means for example you are preparing for your studies okay your health gets deteriorated so you have to keep extra one month for that to cover that portion that means allowances should always be made for unanticipated events okay so let's recall once again what are the features and importance of strategy this is going to be your question this is going to be your question. Okay. What are the features and importance of strategy? First feature, it gives a long range blueprint of the organization. Long range blueprint, how you have decided full five year plan. So this is a long range blueprint. Okay. Second thing you have identify your sort strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. And then you have made the plans to achieve that goal means it can also consider sort analysis. Third thing, strategy is not a substitute for sound, alert, and responsible management. It means management has to work upon that strategy. Okay. Next thing, strategy can never be perfect. Why it can never be perfect? Because some allowances for unanticipated events has to also be considered while making the strategy. So two things we have seen. What two things we have seen? We have seen, we have seen. First of all, what is a strategy. What is a strategy? We have seen that strategy is a means. Today you are here. You want to go here. So a strategy is a means to achieve that goal. Okay. Second thing we have seen that a strategy, a strategy is an integrated plan. A strategy is an integrated plan that is designed in such a way that your basic objective is met. Okay, this is the meaning of strategy. Second thing what we have seen, features of strategy. Features of strategy, we have seen that it is a long range blueprint. You just have to focus on, you just have to focus on the yellow part. Automatically you will be able to, uh, you can add grammar to this and make the sentence. Okay. It is a blueprint, long range blueprint. Second thing what? You have to keep in mind sort analysis. Like I have told you, you have decided that 
you have decided that i am not good at financial management i am good at strategic management so you yourself have done some plus minus thing now you yourself has done like you have decided what are my strength your what are and my weaknesses then you have made strategy that i will work the, on strategic management part very well and i will clear the exam with exemption so this was the sort analysis third thing what when you have made a good strategy you have made a sort analysis and also you have set the long range blueprint can you set idle and go and sleep for 5 years no you have to be a good and responsible management sound alert and responsible management so a strategy should not be a substitute should not be a substitute for a good management next thing what next thing we have seen that a strategy can never be perfect and why a strategy can never be perfect as some allowances for some allowances for unanticipated events has to be made i hope this is clear okay now we'll move to next topic great what is our next topic we have seen strategy two things about strategy we have seen what is the strategy and features and features and importance of strategy now what is management so management is very simple management is the chief organ of the organization who is responsible for proper execution of strategy in our example guys are you guys active in the class please comment me in the uh, chat box acha who is going to tell me what are the features and importance of features and importance of strategy who is going to tell me please unmute and can anyone repeat yes please speak can anyone answer what we have studied what are the features and importance of strategy nobody you have to speak without saying anyone 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 acha okay okay sorry sorry i have to unmute you guys okay just a second YouTube guys. Just a second, I am working. अच्छा ओके आई एल जस्ट अनम्यूट वन बाय वन just a minute just a minute i'll unmute you nahi ja raha na unmute kaise kare सर अनम्यूट हो गया सो टेल मी फीचर्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजी नाउ यू गाइस कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ 
and answer. Who is going to answer? Guys, unmute yourself and answer. Yeah, long range of blueprint SWOT analysis. Long range, great. SWOT analysis. Next, next, next. Next point, who is going to say? It can never be perfect. It cannot be perfect. Very good. Strategy can never be perfect. Just remember, this can be part of your MCQ also. It will ask that whether strategy can be perfect. You have to write no. It can, uh, one option will be strategy can be perfect. Strategy can be partially perfect or strategy can never be perfect. You have to say that strategy can be never be perfect. Next point, next point. Anyone? It is not substitute for management. Great. It is not a substitute for sound and responsible management. It means that you have to be active. You have to be responsible for the strategy. It's, it is cannot that you have just prepared the strategy and you and are going to you and going to sleep. You, know? you have to work on that strategy. And next and the last point, allowances are made for unanticipated events. Great. Now we will go to next topic. Now we will go to next topic. Okay. What is our next topic? Next topic is role and features of strategic management. Wait, wait, wait. Next we will, we have seen what is the strategy and what is the management. Now we, we will say what is a strategic management. Okay. So a strategy, again, coming back to the same example and basic example, you are CA intermediate, you are in CA intermediate. And your goal is to become a CA. Who is manager here? You yourself is a management. If we talk about the company, if we talk about the company, company's management is CEO, CFO, but in your example, you yourself is a management. And what you have done, you have prepared a strategy to become a CA. So can I say that strategic management is a Strategic management is a managerial process, first of all. Okay, managerial process. Managerial process of what? Managerial process of what? Managerial process of developing a strategic vision. This is your vision. Okay. Setting some objectives. And we have all, we have uh, we have studied that crafting the strategy. And once we have the crafted the strategy, we cannot set ideal. We have to craft the strategy and then we have to implement the strategy. We have to evaluate the strategy. And at last, we have to initiate some corrective measures. We have to initiate some corrective measures. Okay. Once again, I am repeating this CA, you are in CA intermediate. Your goal is to become a chartered accountant. Who is management here? You yourself are the management in this example. So what do you have to do? You have to prepare a strategy. You have already prepared a strategy. So what is a strategic management combining this whole situation? I can say that strategic management is a managerial process. First of all, it is a managerial process. Next thing, managerial process of what managerial process of what managerial process of developing the strategic vision and strategic objective. Okay. You have developed strategic vision that I want to become a CA. So this is a part of strategic management. Then you have to craft a strategy. You have to craft the strategy. You have crafted strategy now in last example, what your strategy you have crafted that you will uh, prepare some notes. Also, you will buy study uh, video lectures. So you have crafted the strategy. Only crafting strategy was not sufficient. So you have implemented the strategy, evaluated the strategy. And wherever necessary, you have taken some corrective measures. So this is the meaning of strategic management. Now we will go back again to the notes. What notes says? Strategic management refers to the managerial process. Take a managerial process of what? Managerial process of developing the strategic vision, setting objectives. Okay. Uh, you are clear. Now what? Now crafting the strategy, crafting the strategy, implementing the strategy, evaluating the strategy and finally taking corrective measures wherever necessary. So are you guys clear? This is a very important question. I am telling you 100% you can see in your examination. Is everything clear? 
what all we have seen we have seen that we have seen that first of all we have seen what is strategy we have seen the meaning of strategy and futures and importance of strategy second thing what we have seen what do we mean by management third thing what we have seen what do we mean by strategic management so what is a strategic management a strategic management is a managerial process managerial process of what developing a strategic vision setting objective crafting a strategy crafting strategy implementing strategy evaluating that strategy okay and finally taking corrective actions i hope this is clear meaning of strategic management is clear and also uh, i think you guys now have learned it please archana jyothi okay is there any doubt ashi agam anjali vyas asha divyanshi pooja you just have to write yes if you are cleared and no if you are not cleared so three things we have studied you have to make a tree acha when i am talking when i am teaching to you guys you just have to make some tree what type of tree that what we have studied theek hai first of all we have studied what is the meaning of a strategy okay second thing we have studied features and importance of strategy next we have seen small definitions of management next thing we have seen what do we mean by strategic management and definition of strategic management we have learned strategic management managerial process of strategic vision setting objectives implementing the strategy evaluating the strategy crafting crafting the strategy now what is the role and features of strategic management okay fourth thing we are going to see that what is the role and features of strategic management acha we have already seen the role features and importance of strategy strategy that sword analysis and second thing what was this long range blueprint similarly now we will see what are the role and features of strategic management okay so coming back to the example coming back to the example i am why i am keeping this example in uh, starting we will keep you yourself in the example that you are in ca intermediate and then any then initially we will go to the company and corporate level okay so you have decided your goal to be a ca now what you will do first thing you have done is determination of the goal right the very first thing you have done is that you have decided today you are here in your house what you have done you have decided that i want to become a chartered accountant so this was your goal so this was determination of the goal theek hai second thing second thing you once you have decided that i have to become a ca now you have to start acquisition of resources what resources you will acquire acquisition means purchases resources means study material lectures notes all pdfs so this you have acquired all the resources theek hai this is the second step second step of role and feature now once you have acquired the resources what you will do will you set idle you guys have to just remember the keywords okay i am just saying you guys have to just remember the keywords automatically you can frame answer in the exam so what is the first thing first thing is you have to determine the goal you have already determined you have to be become a ca second thing you have to acquire resources just deciding that you have to become ca nothing will happen you have to buy some resources study material lectures notes so second thing is acquisition of the resources third thing allocating of the resources to yourself allocation of the resources how allocation you have prep you have bought all six subject lectures now what you will do you will have to allocate itself that in the first month i will complete first syllabus in the second month i will complete second syllabus in the third month i will do third wala uh, third wala subject so this is how you will allocate and next thing you will install a control system how you will install a control system you or say say your mamma you will say your mamma that please at the end of the month ask me every time that whether i have completed this subject or not whether i have completed this subject or not this is the control so we we what we where were we we were seeing 
role and features of strategic management. So in role of and features of strategic management, we have seen four steps. That four steps of strategic management are first, you have to determine your goal. Once your goal is determined, you have to start acquiring resources. You have to start acquiring resources. Once you have acquired resources, you have to allocate resources to everything. You have the allocate, you have to allocate the resources. And once everything is done, you have to install a control system that I am going on a right path or not. I hope this is clear. In other way, we can also say that this is one part. This is one part of role and features of strategic management. Now we will go to the other part. Just a second. Okay. Now we will go to the other part. What other part of the strategic uh, roles and features of strategic management says? Just a second. Just a second, guys. Okay. So roles, what we were seeing, roles and features of strategic management. First part, we have seen that it involves four steps. What were the four steps that I have to allocate some goal? I have to uh, I have to determine some goal. Once I have goals, my once are, my goals are determined, I have to uh, ac 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 acquisition of the resources. Then I have to allocate the resources and fourth thing, installation of the control system. Now, second thing we will see that it is integration integration of what integration of disorganized resources integration of disorganized resources suppose 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 you have given your exam in the previous attempt you have given your exam in the previous attempt and now you want to prepare again for next attempt as this attempt you could not clear so first of all, all disorganized book, you might be having all disorganized book in your room. So first you will organize the, these books. You will integrate these books. Integrate means collecting. You will integrate all the disorganized resources. Why you will integrate? So that it helps, it gets combined and it helps you to achieve that goal. Two things we have seen. Now we will study this from notes. Roles and features of strategic management, roles and features of strategic management means it involves bringing together and integrating, what integrating? Disorganized resources. If we talk in corporate terms, now we're uh, in this example, you are the main host. So what were our resources? Books, study materials and all the things. Now if we uh, go to the corporate world. What all they need to organize? Manpower, money, material and technology. Manpower, money, material and technology. Okay. So what are the features of strategic management? That it involves integrating the disorganized resources. And what all are the disorganized resources? Manpower, money, material, technology, which are then combined into the functioning whole. It involves determination of the goal. What was your determination of the goal? That I want to become a chartered accountant. Then acquisition of the resources, what all resources you acquired, study material, notes, PDF, video lectures, then allocation of the resources. How you allocated the resources that I will complete SM in 10 days. I will complete FM in 20 days. This was allocation of the resources. And at last you told your mama, you told your mama, ma'am, please ask me that whether I have achieved these goals or not. So these are the roles and features of the strategic management. Is everyone clear? Is everyone clear? Just write yes in the chat box. Then we shall move ahead. So we will not go. Achha, tell me. Uh... We will integrate our things. We will integrate our thing. How we will integrate? What all we have studied in last half an hour? What all we have studied in last half an hour? Sabse pehle we have seen what is the meaning of a strategy? What is the meaning of strategy? What we have seen in strategy? What we have seen in a strategy? Just a second. I'll... What we have seen in strategy that what is the meaning of strategy? What is the meaning of strategy? Meaning of the strategy is strategy is a integrated plan. Strategy is a integrated plan. Integrated plan of what? 
इंटीग्रेटेड प्लान डिजाइन इन सच अ वे दैट बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव आर अचीव ठीक है सेकंड थिंग वी हैव सीन दैट स्ट्रेटजी सीक्स टू रिलेट द गोल्स ऑफ द एंटरप्राइजेस टू मींस ऑफ अचीविंग देम यू वर हियर यू वांटेड टू गो देयर सो स्ट्रेटजी बिकेम द लैडर स्ट्रेटजी इज अ मींस टू अचीव दैट गोल ठीक है सेकंड थिंग व्हाट वी हैव सीन सेकंड थिंग वी हैव सीन फीचर्स ऑफ स्ट्रेटजी what all features of strategy we have seen features of strategy we have seen that you have to plan everything in advance for 5 years guys everything in advance for 5 years your article should be everything so what are these 5 years these 5 years were the long range blueprint of the organization theek hai once you have made your long range blueprint you have done sort analysis that i am good in this subject i am not good in this subject and accordingly you have made a strategy theek hai once you have made the strategy once you have made the strategy you cannot set ideal so strategy is not a substitute for responsible management that means you only have to be responsible second uh, fourth thing strategy can never be perfect and fifth thing allowances were made for unanticipated event this is the second thing we have seen next what we have seen next what we have seen guys we have seen what is the meaning of management it was very simple management means management means management means management is a chief organ of organ of the organization who is responsible for proper execution of strategy then we have finally seen what is the meaning of strategic management so strategic management was a managerial process managerial process of what developing the strategic vision crafting the strategy once the strategy are crafted implementing that strategy and finally initiating corrective adjustment in that strategy this was the meaning of strategic management then we have seen role and features of strategic management role and feature of strategic management what we have seen that it involves two two things first of all steps first of all steps what all steps were there steps were that you have to you have to determine some goal that you want to become a ca second thing once you have determined that goal you have to start acquisition of the resources you have to buy study material third thing once you have acquired the resources you have to allocate these resources and last thing you have to say your mamma that please implement control system in me so these were the four steps we have seen second thing what we have seen that it is integrating the disorganized resources of manpower money material and technology now we will go to the overall objective of the strategic management what is the overall objective of strategic management overall objective means why do we need strategic management sir why do we need strategic management you guys will say sir you have already told that we need strategic management to achieve our goal but we cannot write only this much as an examination that objective of the strategic management is achieve goal you have to be little bit in detail so what do you will write first of all tell me tell me tell me one thing if we talk about mukesh ambani sir everyone knows mukesh ambani sir mukesh ambani sir is chief of reliance industry limited so what was the goal of reliance industries limited role of reliance industry limited was to achieve a great market share great market share theek hai great market share so they have achieved that goal that's fine but their another goal was to gain competitive advantage have you guys heard this word competitive advantage competitive advantage means to gain advantage over the competitors to gain advantage over the competitors like if i give you option if i give you option whose sim you want to buy so everyone when should say jio mukesh ambani sir wants to throw away uh, this airtel and uh, airtel and other all other companies so this was other than goal this was also the uh, this was also the objective of him that he want to achieve competitive advantage second thing what he uh, overall objective of the strategic management is that it should guide the company guide the company so that that strategy so it can survive in all the situation i'll show you from my notes just a second let me rub this okay 
सो वॉट इज द ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट टू क्रिएट अ कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज मीन्स If a company wants to earn hundred rupees, so it can easily achieve its target of achieving hundred rupees. So can it be silent that I have achieved my hundred rupees target? Now I will be silent and I will go and sleep. No. Another aim of the company should be that it should gain a competitive advantage. If some new customer comes, so he should prefer my company. He should prefer Jio. He should throw away Airtel and other companies. So it means that. Jio and Reliance have creative competitive advantage, something unique and valued by the customer, so that company can outperform their competitors in all aspect. Second thing, second thing, to guide the company successfully, to guide the company successfully through all the changes in the environment. It means company can survive even in COVID. Company in sur can survive even in good times and even in bad times. So there are two objective of strategic management. What are the two objective objectives to create competitive advantage and to guide the company so that it can operate all the changes in the environment. I hope this is clear. Can you comment me in the comment box guys? Is it clear? Tanisha, Tanya, Tirth, Vishwa. Are you guys active? Do you want me to repeat anything guys? Anything? Anjali, Asha. आगम गरिमा क्लियर ना एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर अगेन वी आर कमिंग बैक टू अवर मास्टर चार्ट मास्टर चार्ट वी हैव सीन एवरीथिंग अबाउट स्ट्रेटजी वी हैव एंड व्हाट वी हैव एंड रिगार्डिंग स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द मीनिंग फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव सीन द मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट ओके सेकंड थिंग वी हैव सीन रोल्स एंड फीचर्स ऑफ स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट Third thing we have seen. Third thing we have seen. Just a second. Third thing we have seen. Overall objective of strategic management. What was the meaning of strategic management? That managerial process. Wala question. Manage managerial process of uh, creating the strategy, implementing the strategy, evaluating the strategy, and control. What was the role and feature? Role and feature was two step, two step. That four step. Wala part. For step by step, the determination of the goal, acquisition of the resources, allocation of the resources, installing the control system, and what else we have seen? Integrating the disorganized resources. By step by step, we have seen. You guys remember, na? You have to just keep this tree in your mind. Then only you can, uh, then only you can recall the things in the exams. And ne next thing we have seen objective. Objectives. There were two objectives. Not only company wants to achieve the goal. it also want to create a competitive advantage and next thing it has to prepare the company in such a ways in such a way that company can survive in all the environments all the environments you only guys have to see you only have to see this yellow wala part and you can easily remember everything now we are coming to the most important topic everyone be very alert what are the importance and what are limitations so in strategic management now we will see what is the importance of a strategic management and what are limitations of strategic management after we complete the, complete this topic i will show you what type of questions have been asked in exam see 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 this may 19 rtp mtp icai study material we will go through each and everything after completing this topic okay so now we are coming to now we are coming to importance of strategic management so if you read it it is very simple that it has to analyze the environment longevity of the business corporate defense mechanism but we are here to learn everything we are not here only to only to just understand the things so i have created a cheat code for you what is that cheat code what is that cheat code cheat code is cheat code is a b c d okay i have written this seed memory technique a1 b1 c3 d2 what are the importance of strategic management it helps to analyze the environment it helps the organization to analyze the environment and take action okay so coming back to your example what you were in ca intermediate 
एंड योर गोल वॉज टू बिकम सी एम योर गोल इज टू बिकम अ चार्ट अकाउंटेंट ठीक है सो वाई यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू बिकम अ सी एम यू हैव एनालाइज द एनवायरमेंट ना यू हैव एनालाइज एनवायरमेंट दैट डिमांड ऑफ सी एज कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीजिंग दैट्स वाई यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू बिकम अ सी ए सो वन पार्ट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट इज इट हेल्प्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू एनालाइज द एनवायरमेंट सेकेंड थिंग वंस अ गुड एंड साउंड स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट एंड स्ट्रेटेजी पॉलिसी इज मेड इट एनहेंसेज द लॉन्गेटिविटी ऑफ बिजनेस ए फॉर एनालाइज बी फॉर बिजनेस so strategic man management enhances the longevity of the business c for corporate defense mechanism a strategic management serves as a corporate defense mechanism defense me mechanism against what mistakes and pitfalls acha we have seen in the meaning of strategy we have already seen in the meaning of strategy that there is some allowances made for unanticipated event do you guys remember that some allowances are made for the unanticipated events so that point is reflected again that strategic management serve as a corporate defense mechanism defense mechanism is against what against mistakes corporate defense mechanism again see it helps the organization to develop core competency and achieve competitive advantage now i am going to explain meaning of these two terms core competency and competitive advantage competitive advantage refers to the overall advantage theek hai whereas core competency refers to the specific area of expertise now let me give you example let me give you example suppose tata what is the what is the specific area or what is the expertise of tata that it is the ethical company so Tata is a ethical company, so this has become a core competency for Tata. And once this has become the core competency of Tata, on the basis of this core competency, it can achieve competitive advantage. And what is the meaning of competitive advantage? We have seen that everyone, if any new customer comes in the market, he will prefer me over the other competitors. So I am excelling in the market. I am uh, sweeping out all other competitors. So this is the meaning of competitive advantage. So how Tata achieved comp competitive advantage? Tata achieved competitive advantage on the basis of core competency of being ethical. Core competency was one of its feature. Now I am giving you example of Reliance Industries. What is the core competency of Reliance Industry? Core competency means expertise. so expertise of reliance industry is that it has a lot of money it has political support okay it has a lot of man for man power so this is the asset of reliance industries in other word i can say that this is the core competency of reliance industries and on the basis of this core competency this core competency reliance industries is excelling in the market and creating competitive advantage so strategic management helps the organization to develop core competency and competitive advantage now coming with a d d d for direction strategic management gives direction to the company it also helps to define goals and mission so we have seen this 6 to 7 importance of strategic management now we will recall this what a a for analyze a for analyze what analyze strategy it helps the organization to analyze business environment okay b for business b for business what business sir strategic management we are studying so importance of strategic management so strategic management it enhances the longevity of business okay now c for c for three things we have seen c for core competency c for competitive advantage and c for corporate defense mechanism strategic management helps to develop core competency it also helps to develop competitive advantage and it acts as a corporate defense mechanism de defense against mistakes and pitfalls and d for two things we have seen d for direction and d for define goals it gives a direction to the company and it defines 
goals and objectives goals and mission of the company i hope this is very clear a b c a b c d a b c d a b c d if anyone asks you what are the importance of strategic management so 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 what is the importance of strategic management you only have to clear an, uh, you only have to recall an exam that it is a b c d it is a b c d now who will tell me the full form of a b c d i want you guys to participate and anyone ashi abdullah anjali asha divyanshi anyone you guys can unmute yourself and tell me the full form of a b c d or you can tell me the importance of strategic management this is very important and i am guaranteeing you that this is going to come in your exam okay i am unmuting your you guys now you guys can unmute yourself a b c d hello yes i'm yes. audible yeah you are audible so a from analysis hello yes 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 ha huh. a b c d from a it's analyze strategic management useful for analyzing the environment second okay. uh, it ensures the longevity uh, longevity of a business uh, third c co core competencies c and competitive advantage uh, okay. And D, uh, define goals and give direction to the company. D for defend, uh, define goals and defining goals. Directions to the company. Very good. Very good. So this is Thank the importance you. of strategic management. I expect you guys to that you guys will remember till exam date. Now we are going to the next topic. What are the limitations of limitations of limitations of strategic management? So limitations of strategic management are very easy. Very easy. Limit limitations of strategic management is acha. So limit in importance. We have seen that you have to analyze the environment. Okay. A strategic man in a strategic management, we have to analyze the business environment and then we have to make the some, some strategy. So limitation is saying, oh bhai, how you will analyze the environment? Environment is highly complex and turbulent. Environment is highly complex. It is difficult to understand the complex environment. And exactly pinpoint how it will shape up in the future. Okay, so in importance, we are saying that in importance, we are saying that we have to analyze the environment. And in limitations, it is saying, okay, boss, once you have to analyze the environment, but keep in mind that environment is highly complex. Okay, next thing, strategic management is a time consuming process, sir. It is not a one day task. It takes years to make a good strategy. Organization spend a lot of time in preparing, communicating the strategy that may impede the daily operation. It means while making the strategy, there may be chances that organization may to impede or it have to disturb their daily operations. So this is one of the biggest disadvantage that it is a time consuming. Third thing, third thing, strategic management is a costly process. Do you think it is a zero cost process? No. A strategic management is a very costly process. Uh, I will give you a practical example. I will give you a practical example. One of the big four. I am not uh, remembering name. PwC or uh, I think EY is giving 30 crore consultancy services to 30 crore consultancy services to one of the company. It means it is a uh, 30 crore for what they are giving 30 crore for planning the strategy. So can business can come from loss to profit. So it is a costly process. Fourth thing we will see that in a competitive scenario where all the organization are trying to move strategically, it is difficult to estimate the competitive response. Okay. So while making the strategy, you have properly, you have properly seen that my competitor, competitor is producing a product. My competitor is producing B product. So what do you have planned that I will prepare a mixture of A and B product. Okay. But you never know na, some competitor is already preparing something inside the door. Is every competitor is going to come to your home and tell you that I am preparing this thing, sir. I am preparing this thing, sir. No, no. Uh, there are chances that some of the competitors are preparing some very more complex ABC product in ABC product inside their room. So whenever I am ready with my product, uh, next day there is more chances that somebody other can come with a same strategy so it says that very it is very difficult to estimate the competitive response okay one good example is then given 
कि एप्पल वॉट एप्पल इज डन एप्पल हैज रिमूव इट्स जैक हेडफोन जैक फ्रॉम हेयर एप्पल हैज रिमूव इज हेडफोन जैक एंड दिस वॉज नॉट नोन टू एनी वन सो वंस दे हैव रिमूव देयर हेडफोन जैक वॉट और इंडस्ट्रीज हैव अफेक्टेड All headphone companies had been affected, and all headphone company has been gone to losses. Why? Because these headphone part has been removed, and these headphone companies were not aware that we have to make wireless and Bluetooth वाले earphone. So, due to competitive strategy of Apple, headphone company like Sony has been affected. For example, Apple changed the market dynamics of the speaker industry. How? By choosing to remove 3.5 mm audio jack from iPhone. All major brands, all major brands, have developed their own true wireless speaker. Okay. So what all we have seen? What all we have seen? That environment is first of all environment is highly complex. Second thing is a time consuming process. third thing it is a costly process and fourth thing it is difficult to estimate the competitive response now how you will remember this how you will remember this i have prepared a very nice memory technique for you guys ranga 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 broke up with his girlfriend ranga broke up with his girlfriend why because relation was very complex and difficult his relationship was very complex and difficult and the girl was very time consuming and also that girl demanded costly gifts very bad na why ranga so in exam if anyone asks you that what are the limitations of strategic management you only have to remember why ranga broke up with his girlfriend ranga broke broke up his girlfriend because the relationship was very complex and difficult and she was very time consuming girl and she demanded costly gift what is complex it Uh, what for complex that it is very difficult to and uh, environment is highly complex environment is complex ठीक है next what for difficult that it is very difficult to estimate the competitive response it is very difficult to estimate it estimate the competitors response remember the apple wala example what for time consuming that strategy management strategy making is a time consuming process and what for costly that strategic management is a costly and uh, costly process so are you guys clear with this part you have to very well remember this part that what are the limitations of strategic management okay now i will show you importance of this part which we have already studied so first of all tell me is everything clear to you guys everything what all yes sir yes now yes sir ha what all we have studied what all we have studied all about strategy and now we have about strategic management we have also seen first of all we have seen meaning of strategic management second we have seen importance of strategic management limitations of strategic management and roles and roles of strategic management overall objectives of strategic management this five things we have seen and now i will show you uh, how important was this part so coming back to suppose you are in your exam hall suppose you are in your exam hall rtp may 18 paper what does it say what is strategy explain the importance and features of strategy define strategic management can you answer this question where is in a what is strategy we have already studied keeping you guys in the situation ca intermediate and ca final wala now the presence of strategic and, and uh, management cannot counter all hindrances and always blah 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 last line what is this what are the limitation attached to strategic management rtp may 18 mtp may 19 may 21 may 22 may 22 and most probably in may 24 hai na what are the limitations Always remember Ranga wala example. Again, define strategic management. What are the limitation of strategic management? Next question: Limitations attached to the strategic management in the organization. Discuss this. Next, strategic management is not a panic for all corporate ills. It has its own pitfalls, which can not counter all hindrances. Do you agree with the statement? This is all, again asking with you what? The uh, limitations. Limitations. Okay. Again, next. Limitation. Yes, strategic management cannot counter all hindrances. Again, again, same, same thing, same things. 
this blah 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 story and last what it say analyze the position of ramesh sharma in the line of limitations of the strategic management oh my god ici study material rtp 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 importance of strategic management abcd wala you guys remember very well right next thing explain the major benefit of strategic management what benefits accrue to the strategic approach what is the strategic management i think we have seen everything we have seen everything so this was first part of our topic this was question number 1 of the topic and this question has been covered every this notes will be provided to you by shilpi ma'am in the group is there okay. any problem till now just tell me so that we shall jump into the second part sir uh, that question is please uh, tell me the answer about the last question in that question just okay so oh, that bundle of magic or actually no. actually this is second part of the question in second discuss the role features overall manage objective of strategic management this we have already read hai na this oh, is first line and this is second line matlab this question is completing here okay 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 ha so this is the uh first question where we have discussed many things about strategy about management and five important points of strategic management always make tree in your mind always make tree in your mind whenever i ask i ask you what all we have studied about strategic management you should say first of all we have studied the first of all we have studied meaning of important strategic management then we have studied the roles of strategic management and then we have studied objective of strategic management how many objective two objectives that competitive advantage wala or environment wala then we have studied importance of strategic management and then we have studied limitation importance kaun sa wala a b c d wala limitations ranga broke up with his girlfriend i hope this is clear so this was first part of the chapter now we are jumping to the second question uh, i want to ask that whether my speed is okay or i have to go little slower okay sir it's okay sir just write in the comment box is any if every anyone is finding difficulty so okay we are now jumping to the second part i have merged all the questions of previous question papers so that i can show you the importance of what i am teaching to you similarly now which i am going to teach is also very important also very important why i am saying this i will just show you the list of questions that have been asked in previous attempts let me clear this part so that i we can proceed ahead so next thing we are going to question number 2 c this very this is very small part and how many attempts this has been asked the, the second question is getting completed here and it it is just started here it is very simple okay so first of all i would i asked i want to ask you guys that do you mean what do you what do you mean by proactive and reactive have you heard this word proactive and reactive yes sir yes proactive means proactive means pre planned okay and reactive means reactive means reacting to the situation reacting to the situation and again making adjustments to the plan so strat question is our question is whether the strategy should be proactive or it should be reactive or it should be a combination of both so we will answer that strategy has to be the combination of proactive and reactive how i'll tell you one example okay so let consider the example of tata let's consider the example of tata tata has decided to sell 1 lakh vehicles in a year and when this ratan tata sir is thinking on 1st of january 2024 so at the beginning of the year he is making plan what plan he is making that i have to sell 1 lakh vehicles okay great after 6 month after 6 month government announces that petrol and diesel vehicles are going to get banned so now what now what this strategy is is going to be outdated so this strategy has to be revised the, uh, reacting to the reacting to the situation of the market 
now this strategy has to be revised and re revised strategy what what that shall be the strategy okay till now my 60000 vehicle has been sold now 40000 vehicles i will sell in electronic form so now tata has launched its electric vehicle tata nexon tata nexon tata nexon is a good product and tata nexon is a result of reactive strategy are you guys very clear now i am again giving you the example of yourself suppose you are in today an intermediate okay you want to become a chartered accountant you want to become a chartered accountant so you have first of all you have analyzed every situation you have analyzed every situation what what en environment you have analyzed you have analyzed the environment that this is a time for ca and i will pursue ca i will pursue chartered accountancy i will pursue chartered accountancy because it is a great course so this you have analyzed the environment okay next thing next thing you have prepared your strategies you have prepared your strategies that i will buy six subject lectures sub subject lectures from all the faculties you have noted at the end, at the zero day day zero matlab at the beginning of the year okay you have done these things but till the time you reach mid of the par mid of the year means in 3 months you have seen that in 3 months you have seen that oh my god i am not able to recall anything i have studied from this big faculties now what to do now what to do so so in mid of the year you have seen that i am not able to recall here i am not able to recall what these six subjects six six famous teacher has taught me so now you decided to buy 10 days strategic management crash course so now you decided that i will buy this 10 days strategic management crash course theek hai so what was this 10 days strategic management crash course it was your reactive strategy you have reacted to the problems you have reacted to the problems you were facing what problems you were facing that i am not able to recall anything so you have as you were not able to re recall anything you have uh, uh, reacted to the situation and bought new subject lectures theek hai so i can i say that this uh, this was your planned strategy planned that you were planning from very beginning but this was your unplanned strategy how unplanned at the day end you think you are nothing i am able to uh, not able to recall anything so that was unplanned and instantly you took decision theek hai can i say that this was anticipated anticipated means you expected things very well you expected that i will buy six subject lectures and everything be sorted everything would be sorted but this was very unexpected and unanticipated clear na so now we will jump now we will jump to our notes a strategy should be partially partly proactive and partly reactive in a proactive strategy organization will analyze the possible environment scenario means i am talking about proactive strategy proactive strategy means when at the end of the at the beginning of the day beginning of the year what you were thinking that i will buy six subject lectures or you have analyzed the environment that why you want to become the ca so that how you decided you want to become ca by analyzing the possible environmental scenario theek okay? hai then you have uh, then this proactive strategy contains of current strategy previously initiated actions and business approaches means this was a in other word we can say that proactive strategy is a current strategy without any changes and without any reactions okay but everything cannot happen in advance everything cannot be planned in advance there has to be anticipated hence there has to be some adjustment required to be Uh, done so wherever adjustment is required now react reactive strategy comes into the picture reactive strategy existing problems are in an uh, identified as you identified your problem that you are not able to recall anything what you have studied in the past attempt theek hai then they are solved so problems are identified then they are solved next thing proactive strategy is a planned strategy where reactive is a adaptive strategy adaptive means in uh, changing environment to adapt the changing environment we have made some necessary adjustment to the strategies or we have made some new strategy that was adaptive strategy proactive strategy is a anticipated whereas re reactive strategy is a unanticipated now this is one good thing how your what is the formula of your actual strategy your formula of actual strategy is proactive strategy plus reactive strategy proactive strategy means planned strategy 
which you have already made basis your experiences basis your knowledge basis your sort sort analysis basis your sort analysis basis your experiences basis your resources you have only decided that i i will at the beginning of the year that i will purchase six subject lectures from these these faculties hai na but at the end of the day you have faced some problems and then you find a new initiative what problems you have faced that you were not able to understand anything and what new initiative you got that you found that there is some crash course available in the market so you grabbed that opportunity so what is proactive strategy it is based on comp company experiences company know how resources company strength weak weaknesses and competition capabilities then this is proactive strategy now what is reactive strategy reactive strategy is formed in reaction to the problems and new initiatives so this is the combination of actual strategy now it says that crafting the strategy thus involved stitching together proactive based on the prior experience and then adopting the adopting pieces of successful reactions surrounding the company situation theek hai now let's recall this let's recall this this is also very important part what we have studied what we have studied first of all we have studied that proactive and reactive proactive means proactive strategy mein company analyze the business environment company analyze the business environment second thing what does company do company uses its past experiences past experiences theek hai company do its sort analysis company use this uh, uh, company makes this resources and on the basis of these things it makes a strategy it makes a strategy which is known as it makes a strategy which is which is known as planned strategy theek hai and what is reactive reactive strategy means in the between of your journey in the between of your journey you faced some problems guys you faced some problems so to counter these problem you have made new strategy and which what was that new new strategy that was reactive strategy third point third point reactive proactive strategy is a planned strategy and this is unplanned strategy this is anticipated strategy this is unanticipated strategy i hope i am very clear now i will show you importance of this chapter this question straight forward question guys straight forward strategy is partly proactive and partly reactive discuss rtp may 18 november 18 final paper november 19 november 20 november 21 i say study material and most probably may 24 guys strategy is partly proactive partly reactive अब हाउ ऐसे आई कैन आस्क दिस सेम क्वेश्चन इन अदर वे अब बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन नॉट ऑलवेज प्लान ऑल द स्ट्रेटजीज इन एडवांस ओके एंड ऑफन नीड टू ब्लेंड द प्लान स्ट्रेटजी विथ रिएक्टिव स्ट्रेटजी डू यू गाइज अग्री विद द स्टेटमेंट गिव रीजन सो वॉट रीजन फॉर फाइव मार्क्स यू हैव टू राइट दीज ऑल फाइव पॉइंट्स दैट प्रो एक्टिव स्ट्रेटजी इज मेड बाय एनालाइजिंग द बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस सॉल्ट रिसोर्सेज इट इज प्लान दिस वन इज अनप्लान ओके दिस इज रिएक्टिव स्ट्रेटजी वेन रिएक्टिव स्ट्रेटजी इज मेड आफ्टर एनकाउंटरिंग द प्रॉब्लम एंड आफ्टर आइडेंटिफाइंग द प्रॉब्लम counter part is counter solution is the reactive strategy this all thing you have to read theek hai ab now 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 what all question we'll see see this or blah 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 last line was this strategy a reactive or a proactive according to you uh, which is more beneficial so you have to write that combination of the strategy should be adopted and a strategy should be also proactive and also reactive theek hai Again, this question, July twenty one, five marks. Identify the strategy approach taken by Albele Ford and just be discuss their strategic approach. Which is uh, what is their strategic approach and why? I hope this is clear. Please comment me in the uh, chat box. This everything clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir.
acha okay we will study this example also so that you guys get a good knowledge of how icic is going to ask an exam albela food and just be food are successfully competing chain of restaurant in india theek hai albela are known for their innovative approach which has resulted in good revenues great on the other end just be is a slow responding to environmental changes means means albela is using innovative approach and just be is you using traditional approach okay initial stage of covid 19 pandemic and ensuring a strict lockdown has been adverse impact impact on both the companies covid 19 and both the companies are impacted realizing its severity and future consequences albela food immediately chalked out its post lockdown strategies which include activity like contact contactless dining new strategy of the food in the menu improving safety measures introducing online food delivery but 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 just be food also thinks to introduce these measures identify the strategic approach by albela very simple question guys albela and just be were two companies two restaurants albela was very innovative and just be was little traditional so both were going at a good pace both were generating 100 rupees revenue suppose both were generating 100 rupees revenue but suddenly covid came covid covid was uh, planned it was unplanned it was nobody was knowing this so covid 19 came and everything was disrupt disruptively affected so what albela did albela identified the problem that what is the problem nobody can meet with each other so it has took advantage of this opportunity and introduced contactless dining contact this dining link online delivery of the food so this online delivery of food and contact this dining introduced by albela was a reactive strategy guys this was a reactive strategy so the question is asking you that which strategic approach is better and why discuss these strategy approach means both the strategies you have to discuss and write which one is better at end uh, combination of both the strat strategy is best for a good organization i hope i am very clear with the second question so today so today we have completed five marks ka paper five marks ka paper five marks paper tomorrow we will cover other five marks part other five marks means we have completed two topics now two or three questions are still left and every question i have explained the importance of every question by highlighting that which has been asked in which attempt okay so shall we close for today yes yes sir. Sir. yes sir. so you uh, what you guys will do you guys will read this chapter and tomorrow today tomorrow only you guys have to learn this chapter i think it is now easy for you guys to learn this chapter we have read many cheat codes a b c d wala cheat code and uh, ranga wala cheat code hai na so you just have to keep this cheat code in minds and you have to learn the question tomorrow i will ask so tomorrow actually we will discuss I will, we will just revise and discuss everything and notes i will provide you in the group okay guys so how was the session did you guys liked it Do you guys actually understood the topic? Now, can you answer in exam? Just comment me in the comment box. Did you face any problem like voice issue or was I was I going very fast or anything? About next class, uh, we will inform you in the group. Okay. What do you guys have to do? You have to just take print out of the notes, and you have to. Uh, you can even read it online, but you have to focus on the keywords. Keywords has been highlighted. Keywords has been highlighted in yellow. Keywords has been highlighted in yellow. Okay, this. So you have to focus on this part, and everything will be easy for you. So guys, we are closing for today. Yes. Hey everyone, am I audible? Everyone, yes or no? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Today, 
you yes, all have ma'am. finished for five marks with Ayushan sir, and hope you guys enjoyed the session with the yes, most simplified ma'am. notes and with the most simplified memory tricks. And similarly, the session will be going on. So tomorrow's timing will be same for all the South students. Students who couldn't join and watching this recording, please be, uh, try to join in the live session because live session is more inter interactive than a recorded one, right? And students who want to be there in the non-South group will be updating about the same in the group, okay? So all the students... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the session. How was it? Good, ma'am. Good. Have you all understood this well? Yes, ma'am. Good, ma'am. Perfect. Yes, ma okay. So, all the non of students, uh, was this session or uh, like, uh, are you guys able to understand this simple English language or you want us to conduct a separate session for non of students? Is this simple English uh, okay for you? Or you want us to conduct a separate session for non-South students? Agam, can you hear me? Okay, so... I uh, will see you tomorrow at the same timing. Be there in the group and you'll be getting the notes in the group itself. Okay? Yes, anyone ha uh, is having any question? Is anyone having any question? You can unmute and talk. No? Okay. So done for today. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care. Okay. See you all tomorrow at 8 p.m. sharp. And be active in the group. And we'll be updating about the notes in the group itself. Okay.